गुड इवनिंग व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू डी असम ट्रिब्यून यू आर वाचिंग सुपर फास्ट एंड आई एम मोनिशा एंड यू आर द टॉप टेन स्टोरीज ऑफ द डे इन अ सक्सेसफुल ऑपरेशन द हाइलाकंडी पुलिस सीज अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ बॉम्ब इन सुपारी ऑन सैटरडे नाइट द पुलिस टीम इंटरसेप्टेड अ व्हीकल लोडेड विद नाइन गनी बैग बैग्स ऑफ बॉम्ब इन सुपारी इट मे बी मेंशन दैट द व्हीकल ट्राइड टू एस्केप बाय ड्राइविंग इन अ रश्ड एंड नेगलिजेंट मैनर हाउएवर द अथॉरिटीज मैनेज टू चेज द व्हीकल एंड इंटरसेप्टेड इट ऑल्दो द अक्यूज पर्सन फ्लैड अवे फ्रॉम द सीन व्हाइल abandoning the vehicle in an incident that unfolded at Bokol village in Assam's Dibrugarh during the early hours of Sunday the lifeless body of a young individual was discovered lying on the bypass road the police suspected that the youth may have met with a fatal road accident alongside the victim an innova vehicle was recovered at the scene investigations are underway to determine the circumstances surrounding the tragic incident A day after several items including gold ornaments were stolen from the historic Moinbari Satra in Assam's Borpeta the swift action by the district police resulted in the recovery of the articles that were reported stolen from the Satra Director General of Assam Police GP Singh via X loaded the efforts of Borpeta police Standing in solidarity with the people of disaster hit Himachal Pradesh the Assam government has decided to support the state by providing a one time financial assistance of rupees 10 crores the financial aid has been provided under Apda Rahat Kosh 2023 from the chief minister's relief fund In a bid to aid those affected by the ongoing violence in Manipur the state cabinet has taken decisive steps to provide financial assistance for the reconstruction of damaged houses enabling displaced individuals to return to their permanent residences according to officials police records approximately 4806 houses have been either burnt or destroyed throughout the state due to the violence three excavators were seized from an illegal coal mining site at Namdang along Assam Arunachal Pradesh border in a raid on Sunday the raid was conducted by the Changlang district police in Arunachal Pradesh after receiving specific information about the illegal mining operation G20 leaders including US President Joe Biden UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres paid tributes to Mahatma Gandhi at his memorial Rajghat in New Delhi on Sunday Prime Minister Narendra Modi received the leaders at the rain drenched Rajghat the G20 leaders paid tributes to Gandhi by laying wreaths at his samadhi President Draupadi Murmu is set to visit Gujarat on September 13 to inaugurate the National E Vidhan Application Project at the State Assembly. The Neva project inspired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visionary concept of one nation one application is a significant step towards making the assembly proceedings entirely paperless. On the final day of the G20 summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi formally handed over the G20 presidency to Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva on Sunday. During the closing ceremony of G20 summit, PM Modi handed over the gavel to the president of Brazil. However, it may be noted that the handing over is symbolic as India is still the president till November 2023. The formal takeover of the presidency by Brazil will take place in December this year. Rescuers searching for survivors dug through the rubble of collapsed house in remote mountain village of villages of Morocco on Saturday as armed forces were pressed into action in the wake of the country's deadliest earthquake in more than 60 years authorities declared three days of national mourning after the magnitude 6.8 earthquake killed more than 2000 people and injured over 2000 with many left homeless that's all the news we have for you today on super fast and thank you for joining us for more news and updates stay connected with us on social media like share and follow us on facebook instagram x youtube and telegram tune in tomorrow at the same time until then stay safe stay healthy and stay informed